guys, welcome back. It's a, if you didn't notice, it's a bit of a different setup, but this is just my vanity where I do my makeup. This is episode 10, and if you're new here, please click subscribe. And if you're not, you already know what happened last week. Monet won, and she had blocked Raja. Raja was the only one that didn't know that everyone was kind of playing a mind game and <laughs> that the plunger doesn't have any power. She was like the last one to get the plunger and it does fucking nothing. And she was, I mean like, what did she think it was gonna be? But she, she looked visibly upset by like not getting anything or like not, there's no secret. Like it was just Shay's mind game from week one. Shay still has one star. Monet got a star last week, so she has two now. In the workroom before everything, I think it was before the mini challenge, Jinx kind of tries to encourage Shay, like, if anyone can come up in the last two weeks and kill it, it's Shay kool -Aid. Which I do agree with, Jinx is very right. Shay could kill it these last two episodes. But I, I don't see it, I don't know if she's gonna make it to the top four. This is a episode with a mini challenge. It's the same one as like season 14's I think it was, where the queens have to like thrust into the pit crew guys and pop a balloon. The color of the confetti inside the balloons decides the order of the roast, like who's gonna go first and last. Side note, the pit crew guys in snag tights, oh my god, not gonna lie. I like a muscly man in tights. <laughs> so Jada went first and popping the balloons and she got purple, which is seven. Trinity went next and then she got a green confetti inside the balloon, so she got fifth. Jinx got yellow, got fourth. Monet got blue, sixth. And then Evie got pink, so she was second. Shea kool got orange, so that makes her third. Raja was red, she goes first. And then the Vivian is gold, so she goes last. I would not want to go last in a roast, but if anyone can go last and still make it okay, it's the Vivian. While Shay's writing material for the roast, she talks about how the one having one star is putting a lot of pressure on her to put, get another star because she feels like she's falling behind, she's fading into the background, that she's not being an all-star and like, that probably isn't a good feeling when everyone else is getting at least two or three stars, even more. And I believe Jinx has four now. And when Trinity was writing material as well, she seemed a little nervous or at least on edge because like she didn't do very well in the last two roasts that she's been a part of. And Jinx said if she wants, she she's happy to look over some jokes and give her some points. I'm not sure if she did. I didn't recall seeing that or like Trinity asking for that. They might have though. The main challenge this week is an honorary roast. So it's like in honor of Kennedy Davenport, but they're not supposed to roast Kennedy because Kennedy isn't there. They're just supposed to like roast each other is the challenge, which is a little confusing, but whatever. I thought it was funny. The challenge is great. I'm gonna read you a, a little bit of what they say. First queen, queen to come out was Sarge, Miss Wintergreen. She, if you don't know who this is, she was a camera guy from the show that got made over on the show to be a drag queen as Miss Wintergreen on season nine. The partner was Peppermint. And oh my God, she came out and delivered a Kennedy Davenport quote on tea. She started it with, please bow your head after a long night of hooking. Trey didn't like the session. So he had gutted me and set me on fire. But I didn't die. I crystallized and became a Glamazon bitch ready for the runway. Amen. And that's fucking, I'm so done. I'm so dead. If you don't know what that is from, that is from fucking season seven, Kennedy describing this fucking runway look. And it's great. She, oh my God, it's, 
she is committed to that costume. She is fucking selling it down. So Raja went first. I I know this is, this quote is from some actress, like when she gets an award. I've made it. I've really, really made it. But I can't for the life of me. I'll put it in the video because <laughs> I just can't think of it right now. Hi, kitty. Um... I heard Monet moved to Hollywood, but her hairline's in Reseda. Oh my god, bitch. That's a bald joke. I know she did not. This is my kitty, Pumpkin. The Vivian's done so much K, people bet on her at the Kentucky Derby. You could tell that Raja never really did a roast before, but I think she did all right. She definitely did bomb. She definitely had fun with it, which is good. And then Evie went next. One of my favorite jokes was Monet Exchange, my favorite All-Stars 4 winner. And that's funny because there's two winners of All-Stars 4 and they're both on stage with Evie Oddly. I'm gonna give you a moment to look for Jinx's plastic surgery. No, really, she got her hairline done, which means she thought, yeah, that's the problem. Shay went after Evie, which Evie did fine. She did a lot better than I expected. Shay's Jada's skinny little bitch joke. She did a lot of them, which was a little annoying. But I liked the Jada's such a skinny little bitch. She uses a tampon as a flotation device. That was funny. Oh my god, Jinx was good this episode. She was so good. I'm so honored to be here tonight at this imaginary event. That's killer. Like, I mean, it is imaginary. Like, this is a fake roast. I mean, it's happening and it's real, but like, this is a reality TV. It's as real as it can be. She started making fun of RuPaul. RuPaul, you're such a kinky bitch. You edged Shangela for 11 years. <laughs> she made some Evie Oddly dick jokes, like Evie Oddly's dick is so big when I was doing a line of coke off of it, I had time to reflect and realize I have became my mother. Jinx did really well. I loved Jinx in this roast. Another joke from Jinx that I liked was Trinity let her last boyfriend down easy and said, let's just be cousins. And I'm like, can we not do incest? <laughs> so Trinity was next and she of course started it off with Jinx since Jinx was just there on stage in people's minds. She said, Jinx's husband likes to dress her up as a pinata because he likes to be blindfolded when he hits it. <laughs> you did not just call her a pinata and tell her and ugly at the same time. She says, comedy obviously runs in Monet's family. Her mom delivered at least one joke. Ow, it took Monet a second. She was like, she was just like laughing and then she was like, oh! Monet was after Trinity and Monet kind of made fun of Trinity for finally doing well at a roast because she was there during one and she killed like in a bad way. Like she killed the set and everybody's mood. Viv, you're living proof that it gets butter and eggs and flour and makes it into a sheet cake and eats it all by itself. And the Vivian was like, I'm skinnier than you, bitch. And then the Shay read, the Shay read. Shay's been in so many movie. Jada went after Monet and she said, Twinners of All Stars 4 have the biggest asses of any winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. The only difference is Trinity has a fake ass. Monet is a fake ass bitch. She had a couple of other jokes that she messed up the delivery of, like she told the punchline too early or something. And she, she was a little nervous on stage, but she had fun with it. So like, it wasn't bad or like hard to watch. She was making fun of herself and like letting us laugh at her. So it was easy to watch. It wasn't like somebody totally bombing, if you understand. Vivian closed the show and she comments on Jada's roast. It's so hard going after such a strong roast. 
Monet had her own talk show on the internet. Oh my god, Viv, don't, like, where's your talk show? On the internet, exactly. Like, you're both doing shit on the internet. Don't be a hate. And she also made fun of Trinity's catchphrase. Oh my god. She said, Trinity's catchphrase this season has been, I live. <laughs> and she does. Until that back alley silicone migrates to a vital artery and then girl you die and i'm like that's too real that's too real don't be getting fucking silicone injections guys people feel like they need to fit into like a feminine way or an appearance to either get more money for their job or just fit into society or whatever. There's a multitude of reasons. But it's just really sad that people have to resort to those options to either feel comfortable or safe. He tells the girls after they walk the runway, but I'm just gonna tell you now. If there's no more blocking, the cat just ran in here, I'm sorry. Let's talk about this runway, all glowed up. This is, oh. It's amazing, like, I love this runway. It's probably my favorite runway all season and like all year. But Raja's red and black pleather, I think it was, it looked like a super villain and the red lasers everywhere was so cool. She looked great. This was a great runway. Don't look down, everything will be fine for you now. Don't look down, everything will be fine for you now. Evie oddly came out as this glow, like this glow shroom, this glow mushroom, I'm not sure. And it was so beautiful. It's this bright blue, it looks the way it fits on her it's just so structured it's so beautiful and she has like have you ever gone like roller skating and they have those glow like tea things and they like light up she wore one of those on the runway so it was giving acid trip like glow in the dark realness she had some glow in the things in her hair too <laughs> Oh, Shay came out in this huge, bright yellow sunflower. Like, it was the way she walked in it, the way she moved, how bright it got. It looked like the sun. It was so beautiful. It was so pretty against her skin and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> I really like Jinx concept. I think it could have been a little executed better, but otherwise I still like it. Cause she's like tied up to a rope or like a pull basically, a stake, I guess. <laughs> and the white dress, when the lights go off, turns into red flames. And like she had some pieces that moving in the wind that looked like fire up here but it needed some more, I thought. But there, it still moved and it looked like fire, but it could have been a little better. Still loved it. Trinity came down the runway in this circus carnival look. Fucking hoops around her, fucking all on her feet and shit. Um, she said it was not supposed to be flashing like that at the Roscoe's viewing party, like, it was like sh short circuiting or some shit. I mean, it looked cheap compared to the other ones, but it still was the runway category, you know? Monet did this night sky inspired, beautiful dress. She had this quafted hair and glow and glow in the hair. She had glow bulbs in her hair, stars, I'm guessing. 
and she had it like on her breast and shoulder area and then one on her hip and that was kind of really it it looked better in the light like the semi light to dark not in complete darkness because then it was just like a, a few little lights <laughs> Jada's mermaid looked crazy with the lights off and on. This was one of my favorites this runway. Oh, the mermaid. The way, oh, I still can't get over it. Like, this is why I like this runway category. You get away with everything. Like, not everything, but it just opens up to so much. <laughs> And then the Vivian came out in this cheaper, she like rhinestoned it and l put lights all over the bodysuit and then she had these white wings. It was giving like rave angel and it the wings lit up and stuff. It was okay. I liked the wig with it, but there's better ones on the runway. The top two this week is Jinx and Trinity. I, I really saw it for Jinx, but I think they just did Trinity for storyline, like, she didn't ever, like, she hasn't ever done well in a roast before, and she just kind of did well this time, so they gave the win, or the star to her, because it felt, like, surprising, I guess. I don't know, I don't really think Trinity should have been... I think it should have either been, I think it should have been Jinx and the Vivian because the Vivian joke killed me and supposedly she had more cut out is what she said on Twitter, I believe. So I think she deserved the top spot more than Trinity. And they lip synced to Ava Mac, Kings and Queens, which is a great song. I love Ava Mac. Jinx was dancing like a jester. Like, just flailing her arms, going everywhere. Tried to do a cartwheel and a corset. Didn't go so well. But, <laughs> she had fun. And I think the judges really responded to that. Because Trinity did well too. She just, I guess, didn't have as much fun. So they were like, boring. Jinx, you win. Which I'm glad Jinx won over Trinity. Because Trinity didn't do that well in the main challenge in the first place. There's only going to be two more episodes after this and I'm really sad. Please let me know if you want me to review any other drag race coming up or I don't know makeup videos anything just leave in the comments what you'd like to see me do. Please go follow these drag queens and support them. Like and subscribe.